Yo, what's going on guys? This is Miasin and welcome to my Infernoid Ancient Warriors deck profile. So this is the first out of three Infernoid deck profiles that I'm actually gonna make, uh, I mean, this weekend and week and whatever. And yeah, let's just uh, go into it. But before I start, actually, make sure you like and subscribe because it motivates me a lot to keep making videos like these. And yeah, now let's get to it for real. So, two Ananku and two Deviati. I'm actually playing this ratio of the big uh, big daddy infernoids in every single inferno deck list that I have and the reason for that the reason why this is just so standard is because if you play only one then it means that if you want to send one with uh, Decatron, then your feast and your imagination becomes like infinitely less good because you always want to make sure that you have one of each at least in your deck in order to either resolve imagination or actually just feast into double Decatron and then send one of each for like maximum coverage. So just making like just playing two is uh, is safer because. Yeah, you, you just want to really get, like, really send them from the deck to the grave. Like, not really, like, you can't really do much with them in the hand. And you can still resolve imagination by using one of them from the hand. But if it has to get banished or get to the grave, then you have to revive it and then use it from the field as a material, which is not too great. So, uh, definitely, play, uh, definitely play two of each is definitely correct. So, I don't want to explain that in my uh, other deck profiles. That's why I'm uh, spending so much time on these two uh, right now. So, yeah. Uh, three Saint Simas, I do not play a Tundel in this one. The reason for that is because it doesn't really accomplish much outside of being like a level 8. Like attacking twice is not that great. I mean, banishing a card without targeting is infinitely more relevant. And also, it is just really easy to deal damage with like Ananku destroying the, the entire board and then Equimax like dealing like, I mean, this guy can literally have like 10k attack. It's ridiculous. And then like your monsters can still attack because you tribute the Equimax and then... You know, you already know how it is. I mean, if you've played like Infernoids in the past or you've seen them play with Equimax, uh, this card just, it can rise to like gigantic stats. So, but yeah, as Saitsimas just has like a really, 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 really strong effect. And um, yeah, only 200 less attack than a Tondel. Being level 7 doesn't really, you know, make it like it doesn't really change much like the one thing that I like about the Atondel is that Decatron sending a Atondel would make Decatron level 9 so if you can have a lo lo another level 9 you can pretty much make the best exceeds in Yu-Gi-Oh which is VFD but yeah whatever it's not uh, it's not too bad but in this deck uh, 3 Sitsimas definitely makes sense uh, when Sejet, but I mean, the thing is, you want to play a lot of Infernoids, so when you actually mail with Kagatsuchi, you get, like, a really nasty graveyard. So if you only play two and then Noah Tondel, maybe it's just not uh, good enough, so yeah. Uh, one Sejet, uh, of course, because of the Feast. Uh, Pachulia and Harmadik, you could argue playing multiple Pachulias would make sense, I just don't really know what to cut. But yeah, uh, playing three Pachulia would 100% make sense, so do keep that in mind, and also... Once again, when I make a deck profile, the point is not to allow people to copy my deck list, and this is why I don't actually add the deck list in the description because I don't want people to copy. I just want people to inspire, like like be inspired, and actually use this as a starting point and actually have ideas. So I am 100% against net decking. I think it's incredibly dumb. It doesn't make you any better as a player or as a person. There is just only negative aspects to it, unless you're just literally trying to test hands and play legit for fun. But if you net decked someone just to play in a real event, uh, you're doing everything wrong. So yeah. Uh, when Harmadik, I mean, I think one is enough. Just Patchouli is good because it's a level 4, so you can already use your other level 4s to make rank 4s. I mean, it's not a Beast Warrior, but it's not too bad. Uh, being able to destroy spells and traps is definitely relevant. I want to say probably more relevant than destroying monsters, honestly, so... Yeah. Uh, Decatron, of course, I mean, self-explanatory. Three Sun Mu, three Liu Zhuan, and then two Zuchkong. I mean, these are like the bread and butter cards of the Ancient Warrior uh, engine. They're the only cards, I mean, I guess that uh, you have to play in order to have access to Kagetsuchi with like the other Bujin Xyz. But like, I mean, Sun Mu on, its, on its own is already like a mil 5, so that's already really, really good. And if you have like Sun Mu with like Hiruko or like Tenki, I mean, it's just insane. Because I mean, Sun Mu, like, it, like, technically it wouldn't be like combo on its own, but I mean, sending an Inferno it is basically like a free discard. Because an Inferno monster in your hand or in your graveyard is the exact same, except for like the baby Infernoids, because you can only special summon them from the hand and not from the grave. Whereas all the other baby Infernoids, they, they really don't care. So yeah. Uh, Liu Juan, because you're still playing a goes going second deck. 
Uh, one of my three deck profiles for Infernoids is actually a going first version, which I think is actually... I don't want to say that going first in Infernoids is necessarily the best, but that build that I'm going to show, I think is actually my favorite out of the three, but this is still... Uh, this is like the one that I have the most fun with, I want to say. And then the Lair Infernoid version is just the one that people have played the most like competitively in the past like couple of months and probably years at this point. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so Liu Xuan, very, very, very good card uh, going second. I mean, if your opponent controls two or more monsters, Liu Xuan is just uh, a one card everything. It's basically a one card do whatever you want and that's really, really appreciated. So... Zuch Kong, I mean, it's the it's the, ex I mean, the the card that you actually... The extender, I guess you want to say, because when you search it with Sun Mu, you special summon it, and then that's how you make uh, your rank 4, so... Uh, yeah, basically, your normal summon is a rank 4 Xyz on its own, single-handedly. Unless you're going first with Liu Xuan, then it's literally not doing anything, or your opponent is passing with one monster, but that's not... Uh, uh, that really shouldn't, like, uh, bother you too much. It really doesn't happen too often, but yeah. Uh, to Hero Ko, you can play 3... Definitely, if you feel like making rank 4 uh, Beast Warrior Xyz is easy, then yeah, Hiruko would definitely make a lot of sense, so yeah. Uh, 3 Ash, and 3 Forbidden Drop, which is like insane to break boards going second, and even going first is pretty good, so if you are forced to go first in this deck, you're not like screwed or anything, like this deck has a lot of going first plays. It's not like really, really bad, I mean, even Inferno Lair version is really good going first, because you can just end your turn with like Lair of Darkness, Void Feast, and that's like a really annoying board. It's like two negates, a tribute during your opponent's turn, like a DD Crow, like tributing their monster. Ooh, pretty nasty, but yeah, uh, pretty good deck, honestly, uh, going first or second. Uh, three visits, of course, because you're playing like so many Ancient Warriors that you can actually uh, normal summon. I mean, like nine, three Tanki, three Sun Mu, and then three Liu Juan, so why not? Obviously, if you three visits on Zuch Kong, it's pretty trash because. I mean, y you have to add a monster with a different uh, name, so that's kind of bait, but yeah. Uh, three Imagination, of course, you're going second, but... I mean, even if you're going first, if you're playing like three Feasts, why not play three Imagination? You're losing 50% of your dice roll, so you're going second 50% of the time. And that 50% of the time, Void Imagination is extremely good most of the time, because most decks actually end their turn on a monster that was special summoned from the extra deck, which justifies Shadal being just such a good engine in Yu-Gi-Oh, so... Makes sense. Uh, yeah. Three tanky, three void vanishment, which is the best spell in this entire deck. If you draw vanishment, you kind of just win the game. Uh, it's a one card double negate and decrow, or it just gets you imagination, which is almost basically an OTK on its own. So, yeah. Uh, for the extra deck, real quick, two T era, two Entis. Uh. The thing is, since I'm the thing, th there's no reason necessarily to play two Tierra and two Entis. You can play one Tierra and three Entis if you want. I don't know, it's just, um, yeah, it's, it's just honestly really up to you, I feel like, at this point, but at least I'm going to show, like, both uh, both options, so yeah. Right now, I'm just doing two Tierra, two Entis, because once you summon your Tierra, you can send, like, another Tierra and then two Entis, and then you have, like, one more Inferno na name in your grave, which is very, very nice, so yeah. Uh, Materasu, Double Kagatsuchi, and Susano. I'm not going to explain this because it is extremely well explained in my combo video, so you gotta go check that out if you are uh, in doubt, so yeah. Uh, Baguska, Exciton, just because they're generic rank 4s that are extremely easy to summon with uh, the Ancient Warriors, and this is the reason why I think Petrullia 3 would make a lot of sense. If you want to play 3 Petrullia and you really, really want to play a 40 card deck, then maybe cut the Ash because I don't think you need hand traps necessarily like forbidden drop is probably good enough but i could be wrong maybe just uh yeah i don't know Th this makes sense so yeah uh hita of course you're playing so many fires why not uh, phoenix uh, equimax insane needle fiber doesn't really i don't really use it like i don't i don't abuse it like unfairly in this deck so if you don't want to play Needle Fiber because you don't, uh, I don't, I'm not gonna finish my sentence, but if you don't want to need, play Needle Fiber, whatever, just play like Unicorn or something, I don't care. And then Shuang Long, it's in this deck, it's not as important in an ancient, as in Ancient Warriors. Uh, yeah, as it is in Ancient Warriors. So, once again, if you don't uh, have access to Shuang Long because it kind of doesn't really exist yet, then it's not uh, a big of a deal. So, yeah. And then uh, for the idea section, real quick, once again, uh, one loyal Guan Yun, which is. Uh, 
I mean, it's, it's, it's a really good card. It's like going second, it's very overpowered. It's kind of like a Pankratops, and the first effect of Special Summon itself is not once per turn, by the way. Only the effect of, like, destroy a monster is once per turn, so I'm definitely really bad at reading, uh, but yeah, it's, it's okay. <laughs> uh, Shuanglong, whatever, Link Rebo, Veiler, because of uh, the play with um, uh, Celine, but who cares, honestly. Uh, Galaxy Cyclone, Mind Control, uh, I mean... Like, these are just, like, cards that work well with Ancient Warriors, but Galaxy Cyclone is also a very good card to mill, so it just has a double bonus effect. If you play one, then you can't get decked out by mine, so that's also sick. Uh, Pot of Extravagance, if you feel like you don't need your extra deck as much, so you can start dropping a few cards and then play three Extravagance and then play, like, three of more monsters. That would also make a lot of sense, so yeah. Uh, Selene Axis Code, Dark Ruler as well, very good card to side. If you Dark Ruler and you have, like, Liu Zhuan, it's just you you destroy your opponent. It's not even funny. It's it's actually really, really insane. So, yeah, no, Dark Ruler is good. Uh, Infinite is also good. Even Li, whatever. And then Double Feast if you are uh, forced to go first. Because if you can resolve this, then uh, you kind of just win the game as well. So, yeah, that is pretty much all I had to showcase for the Infernoid Ancient Warriors deck profile. If you have any comments or feedback, let me know in the comment section below. And once again, don't forget to like and subscribe because it may motivates me to keep making videos like these. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So Yasin is signing out. Peace.